Hi, and welcome to my Whimsical Little World uh, video tutorial. Today we're going to be working inside the Silhouette Studio Designer Edition. And um, we are going to be working with the new Digi release from my Whimsical Little World, the Happy Camper Digi Stamp. And you can find that over at Paula's Papers at Etsy. Or you can also just go to the blog, mywhimsicalittleworld.blogspot.ca and also while you're there at the blog you can pick up your free cut file for um, for the happy camper where you can make your own camper card um, so make sure you stop over at the blog um, we are also going to be work I'm going to move these things out of the way here we are also going to be working with digital paper from barn swallow design at Etsy and um, she has super cute stuff. I'm just going to be working with the paper pack, not with the elements, but make sure you go over there and check it out because her stuff is really, it's uber cute. And what we're going to do is create this 6x6 six six card here. Um, I find this if I am, I'm a visual person, so I always need to see what I'm doing, where I'm going to go, and then sometimes it'll change at the craft table. But I have my foundation and most of it going on right here in the program. Um, so what we're going to do is basically create our card here in the program. And I've chosen my color palette. The colors that I'm using I pulled from the mushroom paper from The Great Outdoors. And that you can find at the Etsy shop there, uh, Barn Swallow Design. So these are all the colors I pulled from that one paper. And this will also guide me in what colors to color my camper too. And I'm not going to be wasting any time here because now I know what the direction I'm headed in, in. So I'm going to move all of this stuff over here. Move over my happy camper. And I'm going to move over my card because there's my card. And we're going to be doing a lot of printing and cutting. Okay, so get ready to use those cameos. All right, so what we need first is our base. I'll probably take some craft paper, like a darker color um, paper, and probably like close to this color right here. And that's just gonna be my card actually. And then I'm gonna create uh, a base, a first layer. And that first layer is going to be uh, six by six. And it's already filling it here with uh, paper. So I'm going to uh, remove the paper fill here, but just so I make sure that it's six by six because it's not quite six by six, I'm just gonna change it here and make it six by six. Now, sometimes my machine, uh, my program is acting funny and that's because of the papers. They are a big file and um, I need to reduce the size of them and uh, in order to import them into the program. Otherwise, the program starts acting really wonky. But So that's you might see some odd things happening here. But um, I just want to make sure that I have my 6x6. Six six. So there's my first right here, the wood, the wood grain one. But I'm not going to fill it just yet. So what we want to do is we want to create the honeycomb one now. So I'm going to go right here to my offset window and I'm going to select internal offset and I'm just going to bring it in just a bit there we go and sharp corners and apply and get out of there so there we have two layers already and then I'm going to go back to my internal offset and make it just a little bit bigger there and apply and that's looking pretty good. And I'm going to do another internal. And this one's going to be a little bit smaller. And then if I need to, I'll change it up later. Okay, so now I'm going to go here and now I'm going to start putting in some of my digital paper. So I'm going to select the um, there it is, the fill pattern window. I'm going to go all the way to the bottom where it's going to say paper packs. And here you're going to see a whole bunch of papers, some that came with the uh, program. 
and then uh, papers that I've bought at the Silhouette store. And then of course papers that I have designed and then digital papers that I've bought um, that I bought from Etsy. And so I'm going to select the texture. Look at that. Oh, it's gorgeous paper. Love it. And I'm going to make sure that I say move it to back or send it to the back. Sorry, that way I know it's going to stay put there. And then I'm going to select the next one. And I believe that was the honeycomb one. There we go. It's gorgeous paper. I love it. I'm a paper hoarder. Um, the next one was the blue texture. Yep, there we go. And the final one was the clouds, and that didn't work. There we go. So it's kind of tricky sometimes picking it up. So I'm going to have to zoom in here. There we go. And select it there. Now I got it. Woohoo! Okay. All right, so now there's like red lines on it and I don't know, it just bothers me. So I need to remove them. So I just went to the line color and chose like this uh, grid here and that says no lines, no lines. Um, this paper right here, my cloud paper is turned a bit and I'm going to have to reduce the size a bit. That's too much of a turn. I think that should be good right there. All right. So there you have, that's what our, our layers are going to look like. And at the craft table, I'm going to ink up all the sides just to give it a more grungy look, more texture. So now I'm going to grab our cute little digi stamp here, Happy Camper. And as you can see, he's trying to slip underneath here. But I'm going to right click it and say bring it to the front because I want to show it off. And I'm going to plant it right there. So now we got our little happy camper right there. Now these little elements right here, this little dot, uh, look it went underneath. So I'm just going to right click and bring to the front. These are just, I put them there because they're going to be the little candy dots. I don't know if I'll have them in that color. I'm going to try my best. But they're just going to go right here. And as you can see, they're all crooked. So I'm just gonna, oops, I have the wrong. I'm holding down, I'm selecting all of them. And then I'm going to say align to the left and space vertically. Now they're perfectly aligned. Yay. All right, so our next, bit here is going to be this piece right here this strip and essentially all it is is you know we did our rectangle our square right here well this is just going to be a rectangle same thing only this time I used the pine cone um, paper and she had some cute little striped paper right there and um, then all I did was just overlapped it and I did the internal actually so that it was perfectly aligned, but I've gone and mucked it up here. So I'm just going to go align middle and align center. And there you have your strip right here. And now because we're going to be printing and cutting, um, I don't want to group it uh, right now because they're going to be uh, printing cut separately. And I'm just going to put that right there. And you see how it's hiding our camper wheels there. So I'm just going to say bring the camper to the front. I selected the camper. And that's going to kind of create like a little roadway right there. Now the next little element we need is the happy camper tag right here or label. And all this one is is just the uh, a rectangle again. And see, my thing is going wonky because it keeps giving me my fill pattern. And then I'm going to make another rectangle, a window. 
and say no fill. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller and I'm just going to align it and make sure that it's centered and not in the middle because I want there to be, I want the bottom to be a little bit wider. So I'm going to select right here and get my paint can and get that to be white. And then I'm going to go here and now I'm going to put my green on there, my green paper. I don't like the red, so I'm going to say no red lines, please and thank you very much. And then I want to put in my happy camper, so I'm going to go and select my font. And I'm going to be using, I'm just going to write it out first, happy camper. There we go. And I'm going to use the font happy sands. It would help, right, if I did that. So I want the spacing to be a little bit more spread out. And of course I don't want it to be green, so I'm gonna go here and select black and deselect the red lines and also reduce the size so it fits nice inside the white box. Okay, so I also want to align that. So I select the white box and the happy camper sentiment there. And I'm going to say align center and middle. Now because this is a printing cut, we have to make sure that there's only one cut line and that's around the green. So I'm going to select the scissors right here and you will see that we have three cut lines here. We don't want that. So we're just going to select all of it and say no cut and just in case because my machine's going wonky here we're going to select all and say group and then we're just going to say group edge now I know that it's only going to cut around the happy camper the whole tag itself okay so now I'm going to bring it over here and I can play with the size and play with the placement Okay, so now we did that. The next thing we want to do is we need our trees. Now the trees kind of look tricky, but I promise you they are super easy to make, super easy to make. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to make a box. And it doesn't have to be perfect, just like that. And we're going to select it. We're going to go to edit points and we're going to select a point right um, and you can kind of see some people don't like the crosshairs and I like the crosshairs because they guide me. So I know that there's the crosshair and there is the center. So I'm going to create a point right there and with my arrow going up, my key arrow up, my up arrow key, <laughs> there we go. I'm just going to click it until I get it to look the way I want it to look. I'm just going to zoom out. There we go, just a little bit more. And bring it up. Okay. And so now I'm also going to go down here and bring that up. And you know what? I don't want it to be perfectly even, so wherever it may go, it may go. Then I'm going to go right here, and I'm going to say delete point. I know it's looking wonky. Trust me. Then I'm going to go delete point again, and it kind of looks like a tree. However, I want to make it a little bit more interesting. So I'm just going to bring that one over here. I'm going to just click there so I get another point. But then, of course, we've got this gap here, so I'm going to go here in the center of those two and then bring it down, just like that. Okay, and if you want it to be more facing that way, that's okay too. 
if you want one shorter than the other. And there we go. I think I'm happy. Okay, so now I'm going to select it and because I want a fatter tree. There you go. And there essentially you have the top of your tree right here. Now, if you want to um, use the same layer underneath so you don't have to go back and create another one, all you do is create another one right here and um, you can go to, sorry, replicate. I'm going to go back and show you how to do that. I used a shortcut and I said I wouldn't. All right, so I'm going to go to duplicate and I'm going to say duplicate it below it. There we go. So um, I'm going to flip it horizontally just to give it a little different feel there. And I'm also going to put some different paper and I'm going to send it to the back. There we go. But it still looks too much like the other one. So I'm going to edit the points. And notice how the paper is moving around with it. Oops. I created a point there and I didn't want to. Okay. So there we go. Just like that. Okay. And then you can go down here and do the same thing. Make another one. Send it to the back. Make it wider. Not too wide because... And we're going to change that one like that. And then if you want, you can do the next one a little bit more, um, add a fourth. I'm going to send that to the back. There we go. So I want to add a fourth here. Like it has the four peaks coming out of it, peaks, spikes. So I want to add a fourth one. And I'm going to add a point right there. And there like that. And I'm just going to move things around here a bit. I love this program because it just makes uh, playing, it's almost like doodling, right, with points. And just like that. And I just need to make it nice and wide here. And I'm just going to move this little tree here out of the way. And there we go. So I hate those red lines when I'm working. It just totally distracts me. Okay. So I need to bring this down a little bit more and make it a little bit wider. And then I'll bring that one down a little bit more too. And then for the little trunk, I'm just going to go to the rounded rectangle here tool. And I'm going to make a small one right here, just like that. I'm going to send it to the back. Try to find the center. And I'm going to go and select the wood grain, which is perfect for it. And if you want, you can add a base by going to your um, your lips tool here and kind of like, I don't know, like make like half of it, half, an, half of an ellipse, half of an oval sort of thing, a slanted oval. And it's up to you if you want to use color or, oops, that's the lines. So I'm going to send it to the back. 
and I'm going to remove that and so now what I want to do is I want to select all of this and I'm going to say no cut then I'm going to go back and select all of it again and group it and say cut edge because now it's going to just cut the tree and then I'm going to shrink it down to size of how I want it to be okay see it's going slow here and then I'm just going to bring my tree right here and then I will play with the size and bring this one here play with the size and this one and that one and that one okay so we're going to bring the trailer bring to the front we're going to bring yep i think that was all that we needed to bring to the front I'm going to bring the trees down because they should all be right there so that there's no gap. You don't want a blue under the base. And I'm just going to bring to the front. It didn't catch it. Oops. There we go. Now this I'll bring to the front. So I'm basically bringing everything to the front because I wanted to hide the base. I, I, in the end, I don't like the base. And I'm trying to fit all my elements together so that they're coming together. Um, I'm just going to move the camper here so I can catch this little tree here because it's much too small. So I will make this one larger. And this one's smaller because I don't want it sticking out. Oops. Okay. So there you go. There is your card of Happy Camper. Um, and then, of course, the next step would be the print and cut process. So what would end up happening is um, you're going to take, I'm just selecting all these pieces here. Um, copy. I'm going to go new and I'm just going to go right here to my page and select eight and a half by 11 and I'm going to say show me my registration marks because I need those marks in order to print and cut and I'm going to paste and this is what's going to end up happening like you see here only one will fit at a time unless you have like a really nice um, you probably want to use uh, the paper I would use is some really smooth cardstock, but my printer only hit prints 8.5 by 11, so it's going to take me a little bit of time to print um, the individual papers like this. Whereas when I do the uh, camper and my little symbols and things, then I would line them up like this. Now, if you have not uh, printed the trailer I will show you how to do that right now so I'm going to copy that and bring it here so here is the camper and as you notice these have the red cut lines there these are all ready to cut this one is not so how you would do that is by simply going over here to the trace 
and you're going to select trace area and then you're just going to go around with this blue box and there is your yellow lines right here and you're going to say select uh, trace outer edge and I always like um, just a little bit of a border when I don't want a big border just a little bit so I'm going to say an offset and of course you have to select the red make sure you select the red otherwise you'll get the box see I got the box so I don't want the box and at times you'll have to zoom in and of course it's gonna make me demonstrate that okay so I'm gonna have to zoom in there we go and I'm gonna try to get that there we go so you have to try to get the red line there in order to get that offset and I'm just gonna bring it down I don't want a big border and I can't really get a good sense of that until I sh there you go then you're going to remove your trailer your happy camper from here and you're going to select the very first inside line and hit delete you're going to come back here and my vision is bad so I'm going to zoom in here and you're going to align it okay perfect then you're going to take it select it all and group it and now you're going to have your camper look just like the others it's going to be ready to cut and then you'll hit it through your print and cut you'll print it of course first and then you will set it through your cameo and cut it and then piece your little card together so that's how you do the print and cut make sure you got those registration lines there and then you will end up with this uh, cute little happy camper card. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, make sure you stop by my uh, whimsical little world blogspot.ca and say hello. Uh, let me know that you liked the video and that you also picked up the free cut file to make a camper card. Not this camper card, but the actual shape of a camper. So you can print and cut the happy camper digi and then paste it onto a hamper, uh, happy camper, or a camper card. <laughs> it's a mouthful. All right. So until next time, um, have fun creating. Bye.